hey guys what's up welcome back uh, today I'm gonna show you how to design the circuit boards like this from this so let's get started so first of all uh, to design a PCB like this you need to design a PCB layout diagram and then generate a Gerber file and give it to PCB manufacturer so in order to do that uh, usually you need a software but uh, today I'm going to show you how you can uh, use an uh, online tool on which you can uh, uh, draw the PCB layout and generate a Gerber file. So there's a platform called easyedia.com where you can uh, draw the schematic and PCBs and uh, generate a Gerber and give it for the PCB manufacturer. So in order to do that, first you need to log in uh, to the website and then go into the Easy ADA Designer. You can you need to click on New Project. So I'll select Indicator. Simple I'll LED Indicator I'm gonna design. Show it to guys. So this is my project. Save it once you save it, it will gonna create the folder. You can see here, and it will also create a schematic sheet. So, in order to enter the schematic, first let's save the schematic. So, I'll first rename the sheet. Okay, now uh, hit the control S to save the sheet. Once you save the sheet, look, you can see the sheet has been saved in the folder. Now let's start the schematic. You can fill this information if you want. Now I need to add the components. So for that, we have uh, two options. One is the EE library, uh, which gives you the all standard components. So I'll go in first check the components in uh, EE lab. Just click on the register, it will get pick up. Then I'm gonna need battery, then I'm gonna need one LED. You can select the component and hit R to rotate it. Okay, now the placement is done. Now let's do the connection part. Uh, click this wire option and join the two points. Okay, now let's add ground because in PCB I need uh, a copper area which should be connected to ground. So I am adding it. So this is done. Now uh, the first part is done. Let's also save it. Now you need to convert to and convert to PCB. I mean you need to do the PCB layout part. So for that you need to convert to PCB. What it will do? It will uh, convert and create a PCB file. So you can simply first save the file by clicking Ctrl S and you can modify the name. So I'll write CD. Okay. So let's first place the components. So uh, I'll select the <coughs> sorry, I'll first select the top layer and I'll place the component on top layer. So you can select by clicking over here and let's place. Similarly here you can click R to rotate the component. I'll make the routing easy. Okay, let's keep it like this. So 
so now the component has been placed and everything is everything is placed like name and all now let's start the track i mean it's, let's start the routing so so in order to do that like the track option uh before before starting the routing let's first select the unit i'm comfortable in mm and let's also select the track thickness i will select one mm then hit the track and go to the first point and do and connect to the second point uh then simply escape if you are done and let me select track then do the second part so this is done uh but in some pcb you may require to route track from the bottom side so in order to do that select the bottom layer this is the bottom routing layer and this is the top routing layer so i'll select bottom and then again try to route from the bottom side so this is the example of routing a track on the bottom layer now also let's add text to our pcb so we need to add text on sales screen top sales screen so let's add it guess let's name let's paste it over here and also i forgot to add copper area so let's add copper area uh, copper area must be on top routing so select the layer first and then add copper area just give the four points and then hit skip so it is added on the top side now let's do it on the bottom side as well Again, let's see if we do. This is how now the piece will look like. Uh, remember, you can also change the color if you want. Okay, you can also choose the board thickness. Standard is one point six mm, so I'll leave it there. So. the no, now the next part is save it and uh, generate the gerber so this is the gerber generate option you can click on it say yes to check trc it will check the pcb and give you the uh, gerber generation option you can simply click here in order to save it to your local computer okay and this this folder you can give it to your pcb manufacturer or if you want to uh, give direct order to uh, glc pcb then you can directly place order by clicking over here okay so i hope guys uh, this video is very informative and helps student beginners and hobbyist or many of many of you who likes or who loves the electronics so that's it guys this is the contribution from my side just uh give the like if you like this video and also share if you like this video that's it guys thanks thanks for watching see you